guys. Uh, happy anniversary. I don't know what to say. I guess uh, I've been listening my whole life. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be a musician. I probably wouldn't even be alive. Uh, so thank you for everything that you've done for your music and everything else. Uh, I don't know. I, I guess I look forward to seeing what you do next. I, thank you so much for everything. Happy anniversary. Thanks, guys. Hi Metallica again, it's Andrew again, and I just wanted to say thank you so much for letting me go and say some jam with you the other night. And uh, I don't know how you guys deal with this fame thing all the time because it's been like two days and everyone keeps coming up to me, shake my hand, and you tell me how awesome it was. I don't know how you do it, and I'm glad I don't have to do it for the rest of my life. So thank you very much again, it was the greatest thing ever and it's been a great week. So um, yeah, that's it, thanks. Happy 30th anniversary Happy 30th Metallica! Anniversary, Metallica! Thank you for making great music for 30 years. We're friends. Yes, because you were our you, second concert. Yes. <laughs> you brought us together. You inspire us. Thank you so much for doing what you do. Not all. <laughs> okay, boys. This is my dad. My, my name's Jason. This is my dad, Dan. Uh, 1994. Dying to see you guys. Uh, yeah, I was uh, 16 years old. Dying to see you guys. Wasn't allowed to go. Dad brought me. <laughs> Dad got me and my buddies in the car and took us and became a fan from that moment on. Blossom. Blossom Music Center. Cleveland, Cleveland Ohio. Ohio. Exactly. I'm sure Lars knows, probably can tell you all about the show. Um, but aside from that, I, I've written it a thousand times. I, I know people have seen it. The soundtrack to my life is you people, 100%. Every step of the way, everything I've ever done, you people have been there. Good, bad, or otherwise. And, and I love you so mom much. mom loves you. I love you so much. Thank you. I'll go first. Okay. Because of Metallica, I met my two best friends. These are the best girls anyone could ever ask for. <laughs> and it is true. We all met at separate Metallica shows, different years, and to this day, we've collectively, I believe, been to between 15 and almost 20 shows together. And we just want to wish you congratulations on your 30th anniversary. Happy anniversary! Happy anniversary! <laughs> Is there a silence? Is there a big lull on the stage? Oh, How unprofessional. We've lost the band members. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome, Met Club family. And friends and real families and uh, whoever else you are, welcome here tonight. Three of Metallica's 30-year party week here at the awesome Fillmore in San Francisco. And as you all know, it is a party. It's not a show. It's not a professional show. This is a party, and we are the house band, all right? So we're here to have some fun. We're here to make some mistakes. We're here to have some uh, other antics that go on on the stage and full of surprises, all right? Yeah. And some foul language as well, yes, thank you. And a lot of talking. Talking, yeah. talking, talking. Talking, filling time while other people show up, other band members or, yeah. you know, stuff like that. It's gonna happen. So, um, should we wait for them or let's just get this thing going? No, no, screw those guys. They're probably st stuck in traffic or something. The sooner we get Jim out here, the funner it's going to be. Okay. The funnier. A friend of ours, Jim Brewer, is emceeing the shows here this week. God bless Jim Brewer. He does an amazing job. And it's, uh, it's kind of like this crowd was made for him. He's like, <laughs> let me at him. So without further ado, please, Mr. Jim Brewer. Nice trip. Only, only you can get it. You, you, now, you acted like nothing happened, man. You, you, you were... <laughs> only you can get away with that shit. Hey, I didn't knock, knock over this shit. <laughs> no. You pulled it off. What, what, what happened? Uh, Alright. Everyone, keep it going for the gang. We'll see you. Are we... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Dude, wait till I, go ahead. I got a great story about this guy. We're, we're in South Africa. Remember that? Yeah. yeah. On, on, who says remember that? Me and you were in South Africa. No, I don't remember that. We're in this Jeep, right? And, uh, and uh, our, uh, our guide, he had his, his gun, his elephant blaster. Thank you, Rob. Yeah. Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. Here's, go ahead, go ahead. No, and he says, I got bad news for you guys. Make a good roadie, Kirk. <laughs> my, my, I, 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 got, I got horrible news for you, mates. Me, me, my rifle's not working. And we're out in the middle, we've got, we've got lions, we've got giraffes, we've got spiders as big as my hand, Yeah. we've got poisonous centipedes. <laughs> right. Remember the ticks? Of course I do, I, I got one just you got before one by we got to the good spot. Yeah, I remember that. Well, you couldn't well, stop showing me. No, I mean, <laughs> but, but anyway, and, that, and, and I've never seen Jim not funny. That was the only time in my life <laughs> I saw him not funny. He, we were literally going, this guy doesn't have a rifle, there's elephants over there, there's lions over here, we got some zebra, some cockatoos up there, I mean, even the cockatoos will kill you over there. Well, what, what was that the time? Black mamba, a lot of black mambas. What was that the time? They, 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 first of all, they coaxed us into it, they're like, hi guys, I know you're on a guided jeep and all, but today we're going to do something special, we're going to go on a walking tour. And now, it, it, Rob's buff, man. Look, like, I you can handle a lion. <laughs> Smack. Hey, homie, I got nothing on you. <laughs> you know where I've come from, Mexico. I'm Johnny here. Yeah. So I was, I was. So these guys, and they go, listen, it's nothing to fear. We've got rifles, so. I'm already like, no, and he's looking at me like, <laughs> all right, I'll go. Right. So, not until we get there. Now we see a giraffe, and it's the coolest thing to work. Big right. fucking giraffe, I'm like, oh, that's cool. And the guy keeps assuring us, it's gonna be great. There's no predators during the day. They're all sleeping, mate. They're all sleeping. So not until we get there, that's when they're like, oh, listen. I know we're still going on a walk, but we got no guns. Here's the rules. Remember the rules? Here's the rules. No running if you see a lion. <laughs> and, and I'm like, uh, I, I started, I started washing out. I'm like, oh, is everyone cool with this? I'm, 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 I'm not fucking running a lion. These things take down gazelles. following me. I mean, he, I'm like, he's like, here's the light. <laughs> it was, it was I crazy. had two chicks behind me. I let Rob lead the way. I'm like, I'm behind the big Mexican dude, man. I get myself. I'm hanging out with you, boy. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, I had to share that story with you. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Where's, where's the, Dude, listen. I just, I don't got time. I gotta go down the stairs. These little legs gotta drum all night, you know, huh? <laughs> Let James go out there and do his thing. <laughs> you know, there's a lot, of, first of all, how cool is this event? There are people from all around the world, only invited by the town.
now with a very special announcement on behalf of the mayor of San Francisco. Please give a warm Met Club welcome to Salesforce CEO Mark Benioff and from San Francisco Board of Supervisors Mark Farrell. All right, everybody. Are you getting ready to rock with Metallica? Woo! Let me introduce you to our great supervisor here, Mark Farrell. Mark? Thank you, Mark. And the mayor couldn't be here tonight, but in honor of this week and Metallica's anniversary, we have a proclamation from City Hall. All right. And I'm going to read a few lines for you guys. Whereas for 30 years, Metallica has been an integral part of San Francisco performing arts community, having performed at so many San Francisco venues. Come read it with me. Including the I, snow, I can't read English. The film order, the Cow Palace, Candlestick, and AT&T Park. Metallica has grown in popularity while never compromising their musical integrity. Damn right. Whereas Metallica has made a significant cultural impact on the citizens of San Francisco and the world. <laughs> having performed in over 60 countries. That's right. I didn't know there were 60 countries. <laughs> that, was, that was just last month. Unbelievable. And whereas Metallica's unwavering commitment to their musical vision has led to an ever-growing fan base and proving Metallica more successful and influential year after year, Metallica fans will travel the globe to see their heavy metal heroes. Hey, what, about, what about that part? You left that part out. That's a boring one. Oh. Their okay. passion for new musical adventures has made them one of the best selling and enduring bands of our time. Now, here we go, get this one. Therefore, be it resolved that Mayor Ed Lee, the Mayor of the City and County of San Francisco, in celebration and recognition of their incredible 30th anniversary, hereby proclaims today, December 9th, 2011, Metallica Day in the City. I think we should give this to these guys, right? Did you bring enough for everybody? Pass it around. Well, thank you. Happy right, Metallica you Day, everybody. Right. Yeah. Okay. So we want to we want to pay tribute and honor to. I think everyone here knows a lot of the people at the Met Club. HQ, the whole vibe there. They go far and beyond the call Way of beyond. Duty. Way beyond. I mean, well, let's, let's cut to the chase here. The reason that all you guys are here is because of them. It's really that simple. I mean, well, one of the reasons. So, you know, so all of the wonderful people that work at HQ, all the Met Club staff, will you help us uh, uh, give a big shout out to them and make them feel. Make them feel warm and fuzzy. Because they right, all do bring them up here a wonderful so job. There's Spider Dan. Bring them on up. Rick. Laura. Sam, Matt. Ivy. Ivy. Everybody. Vicky. Vicky. Say thank you. Wow. Thank you for your continued staff. support, loyalty, and working beyond the normal hours. These are not cubicle people, I'll tell you. <laughs> they travel on the road, they get dirty, they're packing boxes, they're labeling, they're doing everything that's got to be done for you people to get tickets, to get swag, to get Christmas ornaments, everything. They do it and we love them. Thank you so much. For being Can you guys lives. give a really, really loud Met Club shout out? Come on! Yeah.
That just happened? That was fast. Chopping away at the sauce soon the cops will be done. Cleaving a trail of destruction that's second to none. Hammering handles, seeming muscle and might.
you have fun tonight. God bless you, Metcalf. Hut, 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 go. And thank you and God bless you to all these people who came here to jam and kick some ass with us. Thank you for being a part of Metallica history. Thank you and good nights!